Hello everyone, welcome back. The tutorials have been coming out pretty slow these days, I'm afraid, but I'm still working on them. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that our running doesn't suck quite as bad. Now there's a lot of ways to fix our running, and I think that this episode is going to be completely useless for most of you, because I'm actually going to be using a specific kind of implementation that's really only useful in the specific game I'm making. Um, sorry about that. The good news is I'm not going to be using any IK uh, in this episode, so it's, it's actually possible for you to follow along and build it. In the long run, I will be using some IK, at which point anyone using uh, the free version of Unity is shit out of luck. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach some stuff to this mech's foot. Here we are. And uh, in previous versions, this has occasionally malfunctioned, so we're just going to go ahead and try it and see whether it works. <coughs> Foot R. Let's go ahead and attach particle systems just to be cute. There. Yeah, this doesn't look very hopeful. We'll find out shortly. Um, so we're going to give it an emission rate, uh, I mean an emission speed of zero. Um, there it is. And it'll just float along our foot. Um, our shape, we're going to go ahead and make it uh, a sphere with a radius of 0.2. And we're going to make the significantly smaller, like 0.2. There we go. And now we'll just duplicate that particle system and put it on the other side. Let's see whether or not that stays with us. Oh, they're in local coordinates. They need to be in world coordinates. But the good news is they do appear to be sticking with the foot. Good. So we're going to go ahead and change it over to world coordinates, and we're also going to move this so that it's in the right spot. And this one also world coordinates. And what we're doing now is I'm just creating a very cheap and easy way to do collision detection against the ground uh, and we're going to use these to do that. Um, rather than actually use a collision mesh, however, um, I'm sorry, uh, w instead of, uh, right now, for example, uh, the mech has this oblong shape to it, which actually collides with the ground. But these are going to have a circular collider that won't actually collide. It'll just trigger. So we're going to go ahead and create a sphere collider. And another one over here. Sphere collider. And that'll give us just a touch of early warning. Um, and we're taking this sphere collider and we're making it a... That's, that's weird. I wonder why that is. Well, it's fine. I don't really care. Oh, we're making it a trigger. We don't need it to be a uh, an actual object. Instead, we want it to trigger. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new script, which we'll call mechfoot, and we'll just drop it onto those, bonk, bonk, like so. Uh, now the problem we're going to have at the moment is that these things are facing directly down, and we have to remember that because what we actually want to do is have it kick us up and forward. So we'll just have to remember that down is is uh, that the forward is actually into the ground, but that's fine. It should all work out. Uh, we need to open up this mech foot, obviously. Grind, 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 grind. There we go. So we need to use the um, on trigger. Uh, I I'd forgotten what it's actually called. Let me go check. We're going to be using these. There's one called uh, void on trigger enter. And there's another one called on trigger. Yeah, come on. Unity 3D has pretty awkward documentation, unfortunately. There it is. 
Uh, there's also on trigger stay. <clears throat> so this happens when we actually hit the ground, whereas this happens every frame after that. I think it's every, every physics frame. I'm hoping it's every physics frame after that. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to make it apply a force to the mech itself. And the way we do that is that we need to have the player object contained here. So what's it called? It's called mech controller. So we take this one, come on. Uh, here we go. Why are you so big? Go away. Poof and poof. And so then what we do is we just actually apply some force. So let's say um, we wanted to apply uh, uh, mech dot rigid body dot add force. Um, and then we can give it whatever force we would like. And what we want to give it is transform.forward times negative 1 uh, times, how about negative 50 times time dot delta time. Now that force in particular will be applied at the center of the balance of mass, uh, so the mech won't tilt when we run. Um, if we do want to add mech tilt later, we can do that as well. But let's go ahead and see how that works. Uh, bonk. All right, you can see that that force is pretty well negligible. Um, it, uh, I'm actually not 100% certain it's even being triggered. It might not be because the ground isn't a rigid body, and it may be that this collider only works against other rigid bodies. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh no, it works. It just is, this force is, force is too small by several order of magnitudes, I guess. Let's go ahead and try 500, see whether we can get a little bit of a kick to it. Now the reason that I'm a little bit, um, no, it's not, uh, right now when you stand around, the force is still applied, so that's why I'm, being a little bit cherry about it because I don't want it to bounce quite so badly. You know, I don't think that this force is actually being applied at all. No, it's it's set so it should. Oh, uh, wait, the mech has a... Okay, yeah, yeah. The mech has a huge mass. I forgot about that. We're actually working with masses, um, and I've forgotten that I'd set the mass of the mech to 100. There we are. That's better. So um, the idea is that we'll be able to hop around the landscape like bunnies. And as you can see, that means we're creating a huge number of, uh, um, of chunks. And so in the near future, we're going to go ahead and deal with that by reducing the number of chunks dramatically. Um, but one of the things we have to do, I mean, uh, we're going to add things like deleting chunks and so on and so forth. One of the things we have to do right now is we have to make it so that uh, this doesn't apply. Um, and uh, uh, the reason for that is that we want this to be the only method of locomotion. We don't want to have any forward motion due to, uh, uh, due to just holding forward. We only want it to happen when there's a foot on the ground. Yay! Woo! This is largely upwards motion. We probably could use some more forward motion. So. Um, that's easy enough. We can go over to the foot. We can say transform.forward plus transform.up. Um, that might be down. No, there is no down. So obviously this is not the ideal way to do it right now, simply because, okay, so down is definitely incorrect. It must be transformed out right. Uh, the bones are pointed in crazy directions, um, and you can't you can't always tell. Mechanim will will fix it for you so that 
you know you don't have to worry about it but if you're trying to do things like this obviously it uh, um, it does matter and you do have to deal with the fact that the bones are rotated in ways that you didn't expect in world space all right so obviously this is not uh, the most ideal method of, uh, of moving around from the perspective of actual control because it doesn't require us to be running at any point we just can stand around and bounce um, so to that end what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the uh, script that controls our um, mech to actually modulate our feet and our feet will have their own independent scripts which we've already built and the mech will have its own independent script for controlling the feet which is mostly built and uh, uh, and we will then be able to extrapolate that into things like four-legged mechs or vehicles but for now I'm gonna leave it as like this in the next episode I'm gonna make it so that we can control our feet and in the episode after that I'm gonna make it so we can delete chunks because we do not need an endless number of chunks like that but you can start to see the sort of feel I'm going to be going for uh, letting aside the draw distance that's so low that it causes it to fall behind as we speed ahead <laughs> alright that's it for today